Hello everyone and welcome to Emsy's new chapter. This is a review on a Swan Digital Air Fryer. I cannot wait to try these chips out, I am telling you now. So this cost me £49.99 on Amazon and um, it came pretty quick within a couple of days. Um, so I'm just going to unbox it now and show you um, how to use it and tell you what my chips are like once they're done. Um, just excuse my scruffy clothes. I'm on standby for Luke because he is doing some DIY. So, let's have a look. So this is supposed to be energy saving. You don't just do chips in it you could do chicken in it oh i'm losing focus um shrimp i think it said in instruction manual um which i did get out so you've got your instruction manual like some quick read through what kind of thing you can do it gives you a guide of how long things take and what temperature you need to put it on so things like frozen chips so whether they're thin or thick fresh chips or wedges pork chops burgers chicken breast chicken nuggets sausages either from fro frozen or fresh um and pasties as well so i'm sure there's other things as well that you can do um, so let's get everything out let me put it on the floor it'll be easier so it's, it's not heavy heavy but it is quite heavy uh, well that's just me being a weekly, a pregnant weekly at that. It's quite, um, it's quite bulky so you're going to need a lot of room if you're putting it in a cupboard you're going to need a lot of room in your cupboard for it but it is a 3.2, 3.2 litre so and I think the tea fowl active fries I think they're one kilogram out there um, so we'll see see how it turns out can't get that last bit off no right so You have quite a long flex with it, about a metre long flex. Turn it around. Move the toaster out of the way. Looks posh. So, I'm assuming how do I open it? It's the first question. I need to take these off. Right. So it just pulls out like that. This is your drawer, this is your unit. You've got a little slider button there. Slide that along, press this button, do this, and just pull out. So that's your basket. So you obviously my chips will be going in there. Any fat that comes out, then obviously it goes into this bottom section here. I've just got a piece of cardboard in, which you don't want to keep in. So that goes in there, so you can then get rid of that excess fat. 
Now it says that all of this is um, obviously apart from the machine itself is dishwasher safe. Um, let me just double check about the bass, um, about this bit because obviously it's got a bit of a shine on it, hasn't it? So I'm not sure whether that bit is dishwasher safe or not. Clean the pan and the basket, so that's classed as your pan. That's your basket. After every use with hot water, some washing up liquid and a non-abrasive sponge. The pan and basket are dishwasher safe as well. So you can put both of them in the dishwasher. I'm going to give these a, just a quick clean now before I start cooking some food in them. Right, so I've given that a wash, so I'm going to stick this back in so that clicks into place and then don't forget to put your little, your little shield over. So I'm going to add my chippies. Here's some that I prepared earlier. So that were four potatoes I did for me and Luke. And it's only half filled it. Now I think, ah uh, yeah, it's, I don't know whether you'll be able to see it. If it zooms in, if I get the light right. Just there, just at the top above them yellow, uh, yellow. Where the hell did I get yellow from? Just above them silver screws there, it says max. So obviously don't overfill it um, above that line, which basically don't overfill it to the top. Right. So I am going to add some for that. I'm gonna be generous with it. Just a little bit. And I, I like the fact that you can shake your, like, your ingredients around it as well. Right, so they're all in. It says 100 to 400 grams, which may I just point out you've missed a G on there. Swan. Um, it says 15 to 22 minutes at 180 degrees so let's plug it in oh right so that's the safety mechanism obviously so if you pull that out it's going to turn, turn it off. So make sure that's clicked in. And you can see that. And press the on button. So you've got, this is for a timer. So that's for the time. And that is for your temperature. So it says... 15 to 22. I'm just going to say, right, your maximum time is 30 minutes. Obviously, if you're going to need to cook it for more, you're just going to end up having to add extra time on. So I don't need... I'm going to go for the middle because I have cut them quite small. So I'm going go to go for 20. I'm going to go for 20 minutes, see what that works at. Temperature wise, your maximum is 20. Your lowest, your lowest is 80. So we want 180, it says in this book. So 180 degrees, and I'm going to try them on 20 minutes. And let's see how that goes. Now it does say mode, um, that M button there, it's supposed to be mode. What's that for? Press the M button to cycle through the preset cooking programs. So let's just have a play. Ah, aha. Uh -huh. Right, I'm assuming that's supposed to represent chips. 
yeah it says chips so they've set it at 200 degrees but what time have ah, they've given that 15 minutes so obviously it's going to cook them hotter but reduce the cooking time so i could do that um what's the next one pork we've got shrimp that's not shrimp that's a different picture don't know what that's supposed to be a picture of but it's obviously not shrimp cake now i'm fascinated that you can do cake in this um how you do cake in it i do not know but i will try that out one day and i will do a tutorial on it chicken steak i bet the steak is going to be interesting to do and fish which i'd ever have so but then if you just press it again it'll go back to your normal so let's let's have a go with this uh, preset actually with chips 200 degrees 15 minutes and then how do we start it so to start it you just press your on off button there so there we are we're cooking and i think that that's really quiet is that whether that gets louder or not i do not know so just very careful i'm just going to move there. so i'll come back to you when it's finished right so that started beeping at me i'm sure it's been less than 15 minutes but I won't really keep an eye on it. Um, I will edit editing the first half of this video. So um, let's let's have a look then. So to touch, you can touch it, but it's warm. So just be cautious. Um, that bit on the top's not too bad. So yeah, just be careful because it is warm. Um, so let's pull them out. Oh my god. OMG. They look lush. So there we go. So there's my chippies. So let's see. Um, just remember it that's gonna be hot. It's just you know being at 200 degrees cycle. Don't go putting your hands in there because that's obviously hot. Um so Let's try one. Make sure they're cooked properly. Out. With some salt on them they will be any chips any day obviously all swimming well friendly um i don't know whether i think they could do it just a tad little bit longer and some of the bigger chips are still a little bit you know are not as done as much so come on there's hardly a hole in the bottom of that so that's good that just shows doesn't it how well fair you some of chips are I'm just going to give see that stir around And I'm gonna just put them back in. Oops. I'm just gonna give them five 
five minutes at 200 degrees. So that would be a total of 25 minutes. Uh, start. And this time, I'm going to keep an eye on the time. And when it's nearly finished, I'm going to quickly click back on my camera. Right. I missed it again because I was too busy washing up. <laughs> right, so let's uh, see how this is. So, they look a bit better done, to be quite honest with you. So maybe, just a thought, just an idea, like do half cook, take it out, give it a good stir, then put them back in, um, and hopefully... This should be okay now. Well, that one was. Ouch. Hot. This is chippies. They're still not soft in the middle to what I would want them to be. I think it's just, this is going to be all trial and error. Um, working out on how long and what temperature I need to be doing them at. Um, it does mention that if you had, like if it were in a cold room, to preheat it first, so to preheat it, it says just to literally just have an empty basket, put that in um, just for two minutes, just to warm everything up. Maybe I need to do that first, but I'm not going to keep on cooking them because I'm going to be here all day. Um, but maybe the next time that I do them, I might stick to the instructions where it said 180 degrees. Um, for 20, well, 15 to 22 minutes, it said, didn't it? I'll probably do 22, possibly even half an hour. Um, it, like I say, it all depends on how many chips you've got in there, I suppose, what what your ingredients are. Um, but if I were doing chicken, I'd want to make sure it's all fully cooked. Um, so I think it's all going to be trial and, her the trial and error. If somebody has got one of these that is watching this video, um, just comment below, let me know how long you keep your chips um, in there for cooking. And um, yeah, we'll try that next time. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. So my review so far of this product is probably four out of 10. I want to know, I want to get to that um, perfect chip stage so um, before I give it a five out of five but the ease of it is is good so yeah so thank you for watching see you later